hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i have come with another new video and today be, today's video is going to be all about in photoshop and it's a photoshop related video and uh, in my last few videos i showed you how we can do clipping mask using uh adobe illustrator and you can do the clipping mask in multiple shapes in adobe illustrator but in this video i'm going to show you how we can do the same thing the clipping mask in adobe photoshop also the clipping mask with multiple shapes in adobe photoshop so i'm going to cover two things together in this video and i hope you will find this video very much helpful so let's get started so first of all you just need to go to the photoshop and go to the file options then click on new you can do the uh, do this using your uh, keyboard shortcut control and but i'm happy with that right now so new then uh, custom i am happy with the custom uh, page uh, size that is uh, 500 versus 500 pixel i am happy with that you can uh, uh, choose from print options here web options here which one looks good and you can mobile option of which one is good let's go with web and most most common web is uh, 30 13 16 versus 7 six eight so this one i just want to click it on here and if you want to do with the custom size you can go there so let's uh rename the untitled one to clipping clipping mask clipping mask this one so let's see what happened so this one is okay i just want to keep the same the other option resolutions hide and artboard i'm not going to with the artboard so let's uh, uncheck it one and pixel and see rgb color mode is okay the, the background contents will be um, white i don't want to select black background color transparent so i'm happy with the warm white then click on create so let's uh, see so this is the uh, page or this is the artboard what we can say this is the options where we will do the clipping mask first of all i just want to show you how you can do the clipping mask in a shape like a, a rectangle or or a circle shape let's see uh, let me show you how we can do the, first of all, do the clipping mask the in here or, and click on circle it and you will see rectangle tool ellipse tool a triangle tool polygon tool other tool available here i'm happy with the ellipse tool and i want to select this ellipse tool so okay let's click click and drag you just need to press hold or uh, press on the shift key to uh, perfectly draw the circle otherwise it will lose the uh, size and so just uh, look at this this one so i just want to press hold or shift key to perfectly draw the circle this is okay let's see let me put it in the center as i as i know so this is okay now i need to uh, bring the image so um, i can do the clipping mask so first of all we just need to go to file option here and you will see the place embedded you will see i want to go with my folder this is the video file folder here and i have uh, already put it, the image here so this one and click and place so place over here let me decrease the size of the image uh, with the circle size because the image size is bigger than the circle so i just uh, reduce the size so just uh, shift shift and ultra from your uh, keyboard and drag it to perfectly and right, so I just want to make it a little bigger and okay, okay okay just click on check option okay now you see the layer options here in Photoshop you have to work with layer and you always need to 
uh, keep in mind that layer SVM and other important things to consider when you are working on Photoshop. So let's see the image layer is here and the ellipse layer is under the image. So we always need to keep the shape under the image. But when in uh, Illustrator, when we made the clipping mask, we need to uh, keep the shape up above the image so in photoshop it's a different so how we can do the clipping mask right now let's see and uh, under the um, image uh, we have the ellipse tool so very next to the image we need to keep the shape uh, so this is image so very next to the um, next to the image we have the ellipse tool so just click it on it and right button from your mouse and you will see the option of clipping mask okay you are seeing the clipping mask options over here just click on it and okay boom perfectly so you just need if you want to or uh, move the image you just need to select the image from here or here and you can move it according to your interest so okay is okay if you want to put the stroke um, around the shape or image you just need to select this uh, ellipse tool or ellipse shape I mean and you can uh, add stroke from here so just select this again and you will see the option of a stroke here so let's increase uh, color is it to what should I say uh, Right, let's look at this one and increase the pixel of let's see let's put five pixel okay look at that this is okay perfectly okay so this is the way you can do a clipping mask in a single shape but if you want to do uh, the clipping mask in multiple shape on Photoshop you need to do this in a different way so how we can do that let me show you these techniques again let's delete these two select this one and control and select these two and press the delete button from your keyboard okay delete it now we want to do the clipping mask in multiple shapes so how we can do that uh, we let's uh, draw a couple of um, shapes over here. go to the tool options and select the rectangle tool over here this is and uh, drag and draw some rectangle like this one okay this one and select the selection tool control and select select this one alter and drag and shift okay alter shift and drag ultra shift and drag alter shift and drag alter shift and drag alter shift and drag so this is uh, let's keep the same distance with the shapes you are seeing the uh, here uh, here uh, gap is larger than this one so we want to keep the same distance or same gap to uh, each shape so how we can do that select all the shapes then you will uh, see the options here over here pretty good horizontally okay now they are aligned perfectly and the gap between two shapes is perfect now we have all the shapes selected now what we can do now we need to compound all the shapes and make a single shape how we can do that just select this all the shapes uh, to make the compound shapes and just uh, select any of the shape over here in the layer panel right button from your mouse and you will see the option of merge shapes just click on it merge look at that all the shapes and all the shapes layer has become one single layer that means they are single shapes so this is uh, okay and uh, we already made these shapes to a single shape so what we need to do now all we need to do now bring the image from your folder or where you already kept the image so go to file then go to place and embedded then select this image i have already selected now i want to place it and okay now i'm seeing that the image is 
uh, smaller or uh, is not covering the left or right side of the shape so let's increase the size of the image by um, pressing shift and shift and alt key from your uh, keyboard it will um, extend the image to the all side in a same way like this way shift and alt from your uh, keyboard then click and drag from here look at that it's perfectly increased so i'm happy with the result you can um, increase the size uh, whatever you want based on your interest so i'm happy with that now now i just want to click on this commit transform uh, you can press enter from your mouse or click on this check mark okay i'm clicking on this now what we need to do just go to uh, select the image and uh, make sure your compound or shapes is uh, exactly under the image layer so this is the um, compound shapes layer uh, exactly under this image layer. so let's select the image layer again and right button from your mouse then you will see the clipping mask options over here look at that this is the and this is perfectly so if you increase the size of it let's select all this and shift and drag shift and drag shift and drag alt okay let's uh, decrease the size of it a little bit now look at that it looks like a window Undo, and this is the uh, clipping mask I have already made in Photoshop. Both are uh, not the same, but um, in, in Illustrator and Photoshop, but very much similar. And these are two techniques, and very easy to do. And I believe you have found this video very much helpful. If you are new to learn these skills, if you have any questions, please write down in the comment section below. I will really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like button it will average help me to uh, do more uh, creative videos and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you see you in the next awesome video